Okay, good morning everybody. I'm Jim. You can see me at ifoundjim.com. That's my YouTube channel also, I Found Jim. And you have found me. And what I've got here is a beautiful 2003 Honda Element. Super condition. Just bought it. And uh, I have a big pet peeve with cars that I buy is when the dash lights go out and don't work. So I'm going to show you guys how to get into the da dash panel on this car, real simple, and change all of the bulbs on the panel. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start. First of all, we're going to get take this off right here because the dash lights in here are, uh, some of them are good, some of them are bad, and I'm just going to go ahead and change them all. I've ordered the parts and light bulbs and uh, I got them from Honda Parts now. I'll show you the information on where you get them. And here we go. The first thing you want to do is lower the steering wheel, okay? And then, see the side panel right here? You go down here and basically just, you can just take a screwdriver and be very careful and gentle, but you can pop this panel off right here. And if you want, you can use a wrench as a pry bar. See how that pops off? That's as easy as it is. Easy as it is. Okay. And then we're going to get into a Phillips screwdriver here. And I'm a little confined here. But there is a screw right here. If you can see that. There's one screw on the side panel here. So we're going to take that out. And don't lose your stuff. So what I'm going to do is take all my screws and parts and put them down in here somewhere probably. Okay, so that's off. Now what you do is basically just pull gently so you don't break anything. That panel comes off real simple, just like that. Okay, and then, oh by the way, I'm also using the, my Samsung Galaxy S3 to film all of this which is super nice. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this screw, this screw, this screw, and that screw right there. Okay, so I'm gonna pull those screws. And the reason you wanna put the steering wheel down is to get it out of the way. These four screws will take the uh, instrument cluster panel out. And like I say, I'm using a sticky mount and chest harness, my invention, which allows you to have your cell phone film all of this without having to hold your cell phone in your hands. It's a chest harness, like I say. Okay, so those four screws are out. Now you can just take this guy here and let me un let me show you. I'll unclip my phone here from my chest harness, and I'm going to show you the clips back here. These two clips come off, and you basically just depress these pin buttons right there on both sides, and just pull those pins, pull the uh, connectors out of the back of that. And they come out real easy. Just depress them, and then disengage those connectors. Okay, so that's that. There is the instrument cluster, right there. It's literally that easy. And then, what we're gonna do is take all these, these are light bulbs in here, and they basically just spin counterclockwise like a quarter of a turn, boom, 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 there's seven of them that are the same. One, two, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you have two lower lights right here. We're going to take those out and change them also. And it's just a simple deal. Okay, so there's my packing list. And like I say, this all came from HondaPartsNow.com. These are all genuine Honda parts. And you just have to go in there, type your uh, date of your car in, the model, make, etc. And... Uh, that's as simple as it is. Order 
and it's about half the price of a Honda dealership for all of these parts. And like you uh, can see right here, they're genuine Honda parts. So these are my uh, seven light bulbs and my two lower bulbs, so you have nine bulbs total. Okay, now what I've got is the instrument cluster there. And I've got all the light bulbs here. I've actually replaced one before, so that top left one is actually new. So now what we're going to do is these come out just simple. That's your bulb right there. It's as easy as, as it is. So I'm going to take all seven of those bulbs out. And some work, some don't, but I figure while I'm in there, I'm just going to take them all out, replace them all. Then I'll have these other good ones that are still good as spares. That way you're not taking it apart and guessing if you've done it right or not. So these are the new spares. New bulb just goes back in. You can see you might need needle those pliers to do this job. Quite simple. Just make sure they're twisted all the way in. See how easy that is? Okay, so I'm going to do all of these guys right here. So that's quite simple. And then that'll be done. Like I say, it takes about 10 minutes. Okay, so all those uh, bulbs are now changed. It was that simple. Couldn't have been much easier.